like I said, it is not critical that your winding stay really tight and uh, tightly spaced. Um, tightly wound, uh, I always get it tight. On that second row back, it'll start falling down in the cracks. You see there where the wire kind of fall down in there. Don't worry about that if yours starts doing it. Just just use it all up. Just 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 get it get it on there. And uh, we will do that. We will do it. Now, this whenever whatever you find for your, um, I guess you'd call it the core. Uh, it needs to be soft metal, um, and 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 there is a reason for that. Um, and I did at one time let me pull up a, a chair here I did at one time read about about these coils before I actually uh, wanted to build one of these and it's really easy to build one and I think you can see there, I, I didn't try to number this one. And I'm probably going to uh, continue to do that. Um, I've been doing it with just a piece of old metal. Nothing fancy. And these, um, and these little punches here with the numbers on them. Which is time consuming but I would like to if I sell one of these to know what number I sent to who and this was the very first one that I built I mean the very first so we're going to try to build them like this one not too identical but very close and we did use a fly trap as I said before up front to cover up the the nose of them wires there and today I did get something else to kinda of just see how it would would look and uh, it's just to each its own this was 97 cents this was pretty much free whenever you used the fly trap. I mean, once it's used up, it's trash. So, that was free. So, what you want to do is you want to take your, your tape and you just want to cover your wire the way up and down and this does help to kind of straighten up the wire a little bit and like I said before just 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 get her done I mean you cannot uh, for lack of a better word tear it up and I'm sure there's people out there doing this different building a coil that is different than the way I'm doing it and that's okay everybody has their own way just how it is and we're almost done here we'll get back down here to the end all right there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and wrap the wire around it
Okay, after you get it covered all the way with your uh, electrical tape, what you want to do is, and you want to make sure, I, I don't want, I, I'm stressing this, but this is probably the most crucial, critical part of, of, of this whole operation, is that you have a long iron core. Just like we have here. And this will be a single winding of this wire here. Now, just about any soft iron coil, uh, core coil, will provide enough um, spark to snap an igniter. The length of the core and the number of turns in the insulated wire, which this is insulated wire, uh, will determine the strength of the spark of the coil. So, if you just looked at this coil here, and then you look at this one here that I built, equally good in their own right, which one would you think was a better and hotter spark? Well, what I just told you was, uh, well, I'm just going to leave it out there. Which one would you think would have the better spark? They, they both do have a good spark. But from what I just told you, you should know which one has a better spark. So let's go with it here. I just, I don't break out a ruler or nothing. I just put my finger there, get one started. And the reason why I'm leaving this much sticking out there is because I need something to attach. So we gotta have uh, a little bit out there. And this is just how I do it, guys. So there is no. It ain't rocket science. That's for sure. I mean, you, any. Just type it into Google there, and uh, it will come up. You can read more than what you're, you intend to before the evening's over. And uh, you, will, uh, you will definitely learn something. Now, that, this is not cr critical to the, uh, the operation of this, this cool. I just want to stress that. Just get it done. I mean, the number of winding is definitely going to make a difference in the, the strength of the spark. Now let me tell you, once you wound up, uh, I don't know, let's say five of them. Let me tell you, them fingers and that wrist, oh man, they get some more tired. But hey, we're going to, uh, we're going to carry on. I said we're going to build a bunch of these and we're going to, we're going to go all the way down. Let's get it done. This is our first layer. I know what y'all are saying, man. It's gonna be a long video. Now all this is is a, uh, you see it there. It's a half a pound of that wire. We're just gonna wind it on up there. I don't know how long the video is here. But I, let me tell you, I, I, I made about seven videos the other day. I just turned the camera on and let it go. And just, you know, talked into the camera and did, uh, did whatever I was going to do in camera shot, of course. 
and they said it was the video was too long to upload to YouTube, so I'm not doing too much of that editing where you put it on the uh, computer before I just send it straight on over to YouTube. But you know, eventually things will have to change on that. But the budget does not call for any changes at this point. Oh, this one feels good. Like I said, after uh, after doing a couple of them and then checking them, and, and we will check this one as I'll, I'll break. I'll show you some different examples. And I got some that are, I mean, hot. How did you would ever want it to be? Y'all see what we're doing there? And like I said, it's not critical. You know, you can sit there and push that every so often if you want to. Uh, the, this wire, when we go back this way, it's going to fall down and fill in them cracks. And you're just going to keep on going back and forth, back and forth. Until you have several, several, several uh, windings. Uh, deep before you get to this first one um, I'm not gonna bore y'all with this I'm gonna go ahead and get this one done and I, what I'll probably do is cut some cut some holes in this uh, up front here for the the connections and I'll get our, our hole here bored and I may just polyurethane these. Uh, nothing more. Nothing less. This is a low tension coil. Primarily used on a igniter engine. Uh, this is a single winding uh, coil. Although you will see some folks that, that use a regular car coil. And just use the two connections and not the spark plug uh, so it, it is very convenient um, although you will either tear your coil up run your battery down really fast or most of the time both um, maybe even melt your igniter points together um, you will do the same thing with these these are produce a really really hot spark um, and, and, I, and I'll talk about all that you're if you're going to run this and a battery with your igniter engine you have to adjust your igniter to wheel to, to, to where it, it, it let's see if I let me just see if I got one here okay John Deere igniter here's our points okay right here you see how they're together well they're not very pretty that's for sure you see how they're together what you want is if you're going to run this you want that to stay about like that you see that you don't want it touching you want it backed off a little bit or you have some type of a gap there it's not a constant connection because what will happen is it, it it'll just burn them on together and you won't have any type of spark we will use this to test one of them 